Starting at us is the reality of the time. And any responsible or sensible man who is very articulate and understands what is playing out will not live in between the fence. If either you are living in the truth of the time or the realities of the time or living in the shadow of the past and precedence. But what is happening today is a testament of the fact that things have fallen apart as far as Nigeria is concerned. And the build up tensions here and there, of course, people calling for self determination and the restoration of the lost sovereignty of the Biafran state. When you consider and study their body language, their commitments, and passion, of course, driven by the anger of the oppressors and the intimidations that have lingered over decades or several decades. I uh, will inform you that people are not smiling. Guys are not smiling. They have seen that Nigerian project is no longer fashionable. It's no longer workable for them. And they have determined, regardless of whatever happens, to break away from the Nigerian grip or, of course, the hostile environment where they found themselves, where their own aspirations and their programs could not be actualized, where they feel not belonging or they have been sidelined from participating in the common world and, of course, economic policies of the country or building up the country for the collective interest of all. They have seen Nigeria as a dead end. Of course, and they must push with their own last blood to make sure that they pull out of the Nigerian code, declaring the restoration of the lost different territory or sovereignty is a task that must be done according to them. They have crossed the Rubicon according to Nandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, have said there's a point of no return. We know what we are pursuing after. If we know if for the collective good of all Biafrans and the posterity to come, we cannot continue to be trapped in this state of quagmire, stuck in the wheel of motionless and despair. Every time what you see on national newspapers is dead upon death, killings upon killing. As then 30 persons lost their life in Kano motor crash accident in Niger State, you have 48 persons losing their lives in Enugu State, about hundreds of them. You begin to ask is what is responsible? Why is Nigeria consuming her own population because of the ineptitudeness and insensitivity? on the part of the govern of the governors. Unfortunately, the leaders have no empathy or sympathy for those who are dying for the populations who have been de deprived, denied of course the basic dividends of democracy, life, better life and of good living conditions. In fact unfortunate this and many other have informed the reason why the Biafrans have its head bent, of course, in ensuring that the restoration of the Biafran lost sovereignty becomes a task that must be done, regardless of whatever opposition that may be coming up from any quarters. Of course, we have we're aware that the Western influence uh, could be against the restoration of the Biafran because of the vested interests, especially the British uh, government and uh, the lies would not have the Biafrans apart from Nigeria because of what they stand to benefit or perhaps lose in the virtual exodus of Biafrans from Nigeria. But that is could be considered as selfish and very destructive. You can continue to take advantage of the people and keep them stuck in the wheel of motionless and despair because you are benefiting from their pains and agony is quite unfortunate and uh, unrealistic but the people have risen they have grown up to know what is good for them and they have decided to move on with their life and that no one can take from them they are very much aware that freedom is not given but taken and they are willing to pay whatever price of course ensure that they have their freedom and the next generation will walk in that liberty and the exercise their true human inalienable right uh, to self-determination and freedom.
of course, of expression and to live out their dreams and aspirations, a country where they can call their own, a country where they can be proud to identify with. These are reasons that they form the continual, uh, of course, spirit of agitation, of freedom that is a governed the entire Eastern region or the defunct Biafran territory. Thank you once again for watching. Let's know what is your own perspective regarding this. Of course, uh, with the body language of Mazen Nandukani, he's not backing down. He's committed to this as some persons I believe he is working for Nigerian government. Even the Nigerian government have declared him wanted and the most wanted in the list of the defense headquarters is Prime Minister Mazen Simon Eba. You can't say in any way it is the young and out of logic to say that a man who is most wanted, haunted by all means at all costs, could be working for Nigerian government. That shows how shallow uh, the minds could be. Very unfortunate then. Uh, that could not be enough to distract Simon Ipa and his people, his men on the ground, of course, to the commitments of this call and assurance of the liberty of the Biafrans. Of course, they have received several resistance on the part of the Nigerian military who will not want or let them go or succeed. But then uh, events and circumstances have revealed that these guys are willing and ready to lay down their lives at all costs in defense of their territorial uh, territory or integrity uh, or the defunct Biafran region. Whatever be the case, we continue to watch as things unfold. Of course, the 2nd of December is just a few months away from now, as everything builds up to that very moment of convention where the restoration declaration of the lost sovereignty of the African state will be declared, just as Simon Ipa, the Prime Minister, has also extended the invitation to the Nigerian government and the British uh, to witness the millennium of course uh, development have and uh, the last miracle on the surface of the earth the restoration of the biafran lost sovereignty under the leadership of the prime minister of the biafran republic government in exile mazi simon Iba. and of course uh, the leader of the indigenous people of biafran mazi namdekan who has remained under incarceration though there have been speculations and uh, that he might possibly be released any moment from now. Whatever be the case, we'll continue to watch as issues continue to unfold. Whatever be the case, but people are well determined and you can't take a people who are determined to build a future for themselves for granted because any opposition or move to counter them will be vehemently resisted by the same people who they know that their future is no longer protected within the Nigerian confinement. And they have to, of course, uh, carve a nick for themselves. And that is what they have committed to doing. Thank you once again. Let's know what is your own perspective regarding this development and what you think could be uh, the way forward. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.